Spared no expense, uh, given the late hour. Uh, I can't vouch for the quality of this coffee, uh, but it has caffeine. Mr. Molinar is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Ragney member, for this opportunity. And I want to thank all the witnesses as well. Mr. Pottinger, good to see you again. I uh, wanted to ask you, uh, the opioid crisis has killed hundreds, thousands of people, uh, some in my own district. And in your assessment, what is the role of the CCP in contributing to the fentanyl crisis here in the United States? And how should we counter that? Sir, it's good to see you again. Uh, only a few years ago, China was shipping fentanyl uh, directly into our markets, or into the black market, uh, using the mail. We made progress, uh, the U.S. made progress during the Trump administration in, in turning back that, and also uh, uh, getting China to classify fentanyl as a controlled substance. But what has now happened uh, is that the, 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 the Chinese state-owned firms and other companies governed by uh, the party state in China are sending the precursor chemicals in mass quantities to Mexico and, and perhaps a few other markets, but primarily Mexico, to the drug cartels to create fentanyl that then uh, washes into our streets and kills tens of thousands of Americans each year. Um, the best that you could say is that there is, the Chinese Communist Party is practicing malign neglect in allowing that business to continue. Uh, they could stop it if they wanted to, and that's been the judgment of uh, many DEA and FBI uh, uh, officials, former officials. Um, Craig Fowler, an admiral who uh, commanded uh, Southcom uh, for us, also pointed the fact that China has become the number one, uh, or Chinese organized crime has become the number one provider of uh, uh, illicit money flows, money laundering flows. And that has fueled the, uh, the fentanyl trade uh, in, in the U.S. So there are things that we need to do uh, to, to really go after those illicit flows of, of money. Uh, and and th that means updating our know your customer laws and anti-money laundering regulations for banks so that they can identify Chinese organized crime activity and Chinese united front activity in that, in that area uh, for starters, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, you also mentioned that Xi Jinping has called for the deepening CCP control over Chinese companies. I wanted to, and, and also uh, Mr. Paul, you had mentioned the CCP fusion strategy and that no business is untainted. I wonder if you could both speak to that situation. Well, one of the remarkable uh, uh, things that Xi Jinping has ushered in what has been really the re-centralization of party control over the economy and over businesses, including private uh, companies. And that's why we've seen the decimation of private companies in China over the past couple of years, the pushing out of the founders of dynamic uh, 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 companies like Alibaba, Jack Ma, who was identified as, uh, you know, really uh, the, 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 uh, the, one of the founders of that whole sector, they've, they've been pushed out of their companies. And Beijing has been trying to promote the idea that it's now safe again to invest in China, but in a classic example of dual messaging, we see one message being provided to foreign investors, you know, at Davos, and, and at the same time, in Chinese language only side notes that are being issued by Xi Jinping, literally simultaneously, he's saying we need to double down and strengthen the party's control over economic activity. And the party now governs uh, the major actions of these companies. They've taken what they call a golden share. So the Communist Party now owns a, a, a veto vote on the board of uh, nominally private companies in China. Thank you. I, I, thank, thank you for that. I would, I would just add uh, that the military civil fusion program has been in operation for nine years. Its goal is to quickly scale up the technological capabilities of the PLA and to use commercial applications to do that. Businesses in China are under an obligation to participate in it. 
uh, you see many commercial entities in China, state-owned and private, uh, that have research tentacles uh, into the PLA and other defense affiliates there. Uh, and you've seen also cases where joint ventures, uh, which have involved U.S. investment, uh, have, have necessarily had to, had to uh, turn over technology as well. So this is an area, I think, of increasing concern for, for, for me and should be for lawmakers. Yeah.